Welcome to a Disney Life for Me. My name is Daniela and this is my husband Miguel. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about top five attractions for toddlers at Animal Kingdom. Um, so yeah, we're pretty excited to discuss this. We don't know each other's list, so it's the first time we're talking about it. Yep. So, um, number five. Okay, so number I will first. go first. Number five for me, um, kind of a big uh, attraction, or at least a big chunk of the park, um, is actually Rafiki's Planet Watch. Oh, um, so we have a toddler who is two and a half years old, yeah. Alex, and um, he enjoys uh, this and every aspect of it. So he enjoys the train ride to Rafiki's Planet Watch. He also enjoys the petting zoo that they have at um, Rafiki's Planet Watch. So it's a lot more than just a single attraction, yeah. but if I had to kind of narrow it down, I, I, what I had in mind was the um the petting zoo portion yeah. so it's yeah. a good one i will talk more about that later because that's higher on my list right. um so my number five is the festival of the lion king now we just did a video on the top five shows at walt disney world and the lion king was on both of our lists yep. as number three yep. so check that video out if you're interested in that but I just needed to put this there. If there's one show that you're going to watch at Animal Kingdom with your toddler, I would choose the Festival of the Lion King. It is just a great show for them, and if you want more details on that, watch the other video. Agreed, definitely. I'll make more comments about it later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> number four. Uh, so number four for me is Triceratops Spin. Get out of here! That's yeah. my number four. Nice. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that is number four for me. Just... Yeah. It's your equivalent of a Dumbo ride, right? And yeah, so, it, it, but our toddler enjoys it. Yeah. And certain carts, uh, certain triceratops that you ride, not all of them are the same, actually have the up and down on the side, which yeah, allow so. the, the child to actually do it. Um, right. Otherwise, sometimes they can't really reach to the middle, yeah. but um, it is. It's a neat ride that yeah. our son enjoys quite a bit. Well, it's kind of nice, too. Unlike the Dumbo ride, it's not color-coordinated, so if your kid, like, really wants blue or green, it's right. not going to be a problem here. All of them look the same. Yeah. Um, but, yes, it is your Dumbo, your Aladdin. It's very equivalent to that, but it's the Animal Kingdom's version of it. So yeah. it's definitely a good one. Yeah. So, so you want to go first three, on your number three? Yeah, I'll go first. So my number three is in Dino Land, USA, and it is the Boneyard. Now, if you've never been to the Boneyard before, it's really neat, like, playground, I would say. But it's a nice break in the day to let the kids just run around. Um, if you go in, there's, like, slides and little caves that the kids can walk through, um, a little car that they can go in and just explore. So it's really cool. And then if you go over the bridge, um, there's a, what would you call it, uh, a digging site. And they have a shovel and a pail, and they, sh you know, go through, like, different walks and mm -hmm shovel it through the pail and look for bones in the digging site. So it's really cool. It's a really neat little break in your day, I would say, especially for the kids that are just maybe tired of watching so many shows or sitting down. Um, they can just run around here, or either before or after lunch, you know, whatever it may be. So, yeah, I love that place. Um, Alex loves it, and it's been great. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, that'll be on my list in, in a little bit here as well. Um, for me, number three was Kilimanjaro Safari. Oh. Um, to me, this is one of maybe the two most educational things you can do with, with a child um, at Animal Kingdom. The other one probably being Flights of Wonder, which also yeah. made your top five did, of the shows at Disney World. So, again, make sure to check out that episode yeah. as well. But, yeah, basically our son, I mean, he even, we last wrote it maybe two weeks ago, yeah. and he's still talking about all the animals <laughs> yeah. that he saw on that trip. And so, really neat experience. If you want to maybe change it up just a little bit, although this could be a little tough with toddlers depending how old, um, they actually do a nighttime safari Dude, now too, which is really, really cool. neat. So. Um, yeah, I think just a great one, and it's nice to be able to sit down and enjoy something that, that's a good amount of length, too. So. Definitely. I'll be talking about that one more later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's higher on my list. Okay. Um, so what are we on? Number... Number two. Number two. So I'll go first, because you already mentioned this one. Mm -hmm. So my number two is actually Rafiki's Planet Watch, which you already mentioned. And it's in Africa, and I do think it's a must-see. So as he already explained, you go on the Wildlife Express train, 
and then you get to the conservation station. So there's different exhibits within the station that you can see like different animals and different things that the scientists are doing with the animals. So it's just a really neat educational experience. I would definitely recommend going there. Um, and then they have what they call the affection section. So it is their petting zoo, but they call it the affection section. So um, it's really neat. Like, you know, you have little animals coming up to you and um, yeah, it's, it's just a really neat place. I, I love yeah. it. Yeah, it's, um, it's sheep that they have there. And yeah. so they allow the, the, um, the, the kids to brush them and yeah. things like that. So it's a neat, it's a neat one. Um, yeah, so my number two is actually the Boneyard, which you've already heard about. And this was occurring to me as our son was playing in the Boneyard this past weekend when we, when we went to, to Animal Kingdom. Oftentimes, I think as parents, the temptation is for us to want to create a certain kind of experience for our children. And want them to experience what we think they would enjoy most. And so, I think... The temptation would be when you're going through the boneyard or passing by it is to look inside and what you have is basically swings, um, some slides. slide. Oh yeah, no swings, no slides. Swings. Um, you've got you know different uh, like bridges. You've got areas you for climb. yeah areas for the kids to climb and to run and to jump and to yeah. do all these different things, and the temptation is to think. Well, they can do this at home, right? Right, And so you just keep going. There's nothing special about this. And it was just occurring to me that for Alex, uh, our two-year-old, two like, no, he was having a blast. Yes. And, and really the, the goal when you're going as a family to Disney World is to just have fun. And so even though we think we've got a park down the street, why would we spend time yeah. in this particular area it's different to him. It's a different setting. It's a unique setting. And it's part of how he identifies the animal kingdom. And so for him to get to play around, I mean, he was just digging up rocks and throwing them <laughs> yeah. in a bucket for the longest time. And he was sad to leave when yes. we finally got up to yeah. go. And, and it's a great place where parents can kind of cool off a little bit, chill out. It is outside, it is outside but... Yeah. But there's good shaded areas. And there's, there's actually some picnic places under uh, tables inside, so you can yeah. even bring your. I think you might be able. To, you might not be able to bring your lunch in. Actually, I'm yeah. not even sure. That'd be something to check into. But there are picnic tables with shaded areas, right. so that there's a place for adults to sit. Yeah. So I think just letting our kids do what is fun for them at the park, it's not so what fun. we would want them to enjoy necessarily. So. Definitely. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I echo that. Um, so yeah, so my number one was already mentioned, and actually it's the Kilimanjaro Safari, because along with your whole experience thing, I feel like that is the thing that's been the most memorable thing to Alex, is all he does is talk about the animals that he saw on that safari, right? And it's surprising to me, so I at first didn't think much of the safari, right? But that's what he talks about every single time. The elephant, the hippo, the giraffe, the zebra. Like, it was just amazing to him to see, like, real-life animals so close to him. So I just think that safari ride is just by far the best attraction at Animal Kingdom, just for toddlers specifically. Um, because it's just such a neat experience to see, like, these huge animals right in front of you. Imagine a two-, a three-, or four-year-old, like looking at this it's just a really neat opportunity so definitely go on the Kilimanjaro safari if you're at Animal Kingdom yeah um, I was actually gonna make one last comment about the boneyard that I forgot to include as well is um, we're focusing on toddlers right now but I'd imagine that the boneyard can also be a great uh, experience for parents and kids of maybe that 8 to 10 year old yeah, age sure. Because there's so much to do, there's so much running around that can happen. Big They're size. old enough at that point to maybe let them go out. It's all closed off, right? So so there, there's safety measures put in place. It's not like they're just out in a park, but there's a fence where you have to enter and, and, and leave through the yeah. same exit. Um, and so, you know, parents could sit at the table. Obviously, you're not going to do this with a toddler, but yeah. with an older... Um, with an older child and just let them yeah, run definitely. around and have some freedom. And they do have uh, slides for different ages. So like there's one small, like small toddler slide that I would say for like, you know, one year olds, two year olds that are just like still learning how to walk and 
can't go off and climb and stuff. And then there's like bigger slides for like your older toddler. And then there's really big slides for like your older kid um, that you would have to like climb an obstacle course to get to the top of the slide. And then it goes all the way down. So it's, it's really neat, I think, for a variety of ages. Um, yeah, I would say up to 10 probably. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So yeah, my number one is actually Festival of the Lion King. Um, yeah, Festival of the Lion King um, was mentioned earlier already. Um, for more information on that show, definitely check out our other video where we um, talked about our top five shows in Walt Disney World. Uh, but yeah, I think it's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of jumping and dancing and it's singing. So and yeah. um, If your kids are into Disney movies or are familiar with Lion yeah. King at all, um, our, our son hasn't seen it, but on Pandora, it, we play the Lion King yeah. songs, and so he knows all the songs. Um, and then what's really neat, too, is at the end of the show, um, they all, the, the characters, the, the people who have been dancing and singing, come around and grab a bunch of the kids, yeah, and then so cool. they get to be part of kind the of little, the, the yeah. festival. So... Um, and a lot of times it is toddler aged, yeah. um, maybe a little bit older, four or five eight years yeah, old, yeah. um, where they get to participate in this kind of yeah. thing. So, it's um, yeah, and, and I think it, it's, it's really neat, a neat experience for the young ones. They remember it and, and I'm not sure that at least our son is, is even telling the difference, right? So when we ask him what he enjoyed seeing, he'll talk about the hippo that was on the, Safari, and he'll talk about the lion that he saw, but then he'll talk about Pumbaa, and he'll yeah, talk and the about monkeys. the monkeys, and he'll talk about... I was going to say, that's um, one of the other memorable yeah. moments for him, is he talks about the safari, and he talks about the Lion King yeah. show. Yeah. So yeah, those are, appropriately, our two top ones. <laughs> yeah, I think that um, Animal Kingdom in particular, it can be both educational and a lot of fun for younger children... Um, and it is increasingly, I think, um, a go-to park, uh, particularly with all of the construction that's going on at Hollywood Studios yeah, right now. Definitely. So um, if you have young ones, I recommend it. There is a lot of walking at this park. Yes, and bring so a lot of water. And so be aware of that. Yeah, bring a lot of water and your walking shoes. But, <laughs> yeah. but um, I think it's, it's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of great opportunities for kids at, at that particular park. Yeah, totally agree. So there you have it. Um, yeah. Let us know. What are your top fives? What's your top one? Do you agree with ours? Comment down below. Um, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be having more videos coming out and more top fives. Um, so it should be fun. If there's any other top fives that you'd like for us to do, or if there's any uh, specific reviews of, of anything at the park that you'd like to see come your way, please let us know as we'd be happy to provide you with access to, to the parks as we get to go. Definitely. And also, um, go ahead and follow us on Instagram, A Disney Life for Me. All right? All right. Bye. Bye.